right, this is the Squid Game 2022 predictions for Capricorn tarot reading, so exciting. I got this idea from another tarot reader. I actually fell asleep during their reading. It's not their fault. I was working late. But I figured I'd make it kind of my own. So hopefully you enjoy it if you kind of want it, like a shorter reading. I did put the questions and I did put the shorter version of the reading down below if you want to read that from the description. Um, you know, I, I just thought it was fun. If you're not into it, I totally understand, but you want your reading. It's down below, alright? So you can just take it and go. Alright, anyway, so let's start off with the first question. We have Recruit, which is going to be, see, Lust, the cost of everything in 2022. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is restriction, so there might be some restrictions here, so... I feel like there's a no, a skeleton in the closet, industry, depression, and discontentment, an accident, or possibly fatality. So you might be sick for a while. You might actually not have money for a long time because of medical expenses and other expenses. Um, so there, there might be a bit of a problem in um, your funding, okay? So that's not good. There, there might need to be some uh, other things for you, but I, I'm not sure what they could be. Probably financial, financial relief, if I could say anything. So, um, hopefully that happens. Anyway, so the first game in Squid Game, or what I wrote down anyway, is going to be Red Light, Green Light. Or in Korean, the hibiscus flower has bloomed. I wrote it down as success and money and love in 2022 we have the two of cups the two of cups it will come naturally um so we have the pink and red hibiscus which is love kindness harmony uh vivality we have strength power devotion determination uh passion, desire, ambition, and motivation. Okay, so as far as everything in 2022, I feel like you're going to be working towards it, and it's, and it's going to be good, you know, so you're going to have to work for it, but I feel like you're going to be fine. Okay, it'll also come probably very quickly once you get started, okay? So let's see, um, it will come naturally. Let love in. Soften dry and uh, brittle wounds. Welcome gen a genuine connection. So you're going to meet somebody who is, you know, right up there with you. Alright, they're probably in the same boat as well. But they love you and you love them. Okay, so I feel like that's going to happen for you in 2022. Okay. So number two, we have Sugar Honeycomb. You know, that was fun. Um, and I put it down as patience. What are you looking forward to in 2022? We have the Four of Pentacles. So there could be some savings here. So your cookie in this case, your Sugar Honeycomb cookie, would be the star, so it might be a little bit difficult, okay? So, it will come with a price. Be a wise steward of your resources. Be flexible, yet sturdy. Um, and, let's see, strong roots help young sprouts grow. So, I feel like you're going to probably be investing, and you might be saving a lot as well. You'll invest a little, but save a lot. Um, so your savings account might have a lot more money than your checking, which is, should be the case anyway. But I feel like um, you need to watch your finances, okay? 
Um, I feel like it might not be a lot of cash flow, but I feel like if you save correctly, it will last for a while, okay? So, number three. Number three is tug of war. So, this has to do with strength. So, inner strength, mental awareness through 2022. We have the ten of water in reverse. So, it will come to you naturally. False heart, violence within the home, petty jealousies and rivalries, loss of friendship. So there might have been a loss of friendship here, or there might be some other type of thing that happens that really makes you question life. I feel like you lose like your best friend, and I feel like that's why you're kind of fighting with everybody. Because, you know, it's, it's such a shock. It probably happens, like, within a matter of a couple days. And maybe it stays with you the whole year. Because you were looking forward to seeing your friend again. And maybe that's not a possibility anymore. And that can be very devastating. And if that happens, I'm sorry for your loss. Also, this could have been a loss that happened a couple years ago. So you're still it's still fresh wounds. So... You know, stuff could come up about that, and it could really trigger you, okay? So, um, hopefully you can talk to somebody about that, like a therapist or a doctor. Or, um, maybe you can journal about it and stuff like that. But, honestly, I think the best thing that you can do mourning somebody is actually share, you know, stories and things about them, Okay? So that their memory is alive, you know. So, hopefully, you can do that to some degree, okay? Number four. Number four is marbles. So, the talent of the bluff. What are your wishes, secrets, and hopes for 2022? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse is yes. But it will come, uh, you'll have to work for it. It won't come in easy. So, you know, it's one of those things. Also a sense of chaos, an unexpected, unwanted change, a fight possibly with somebody very close, but who's full of disconcern and temporary interruption of a relationship or a state of mind. So somebody's going to kind of, you know, try to get under your skin about a particular thing or say something that's an off-collar comment to really trigger you so you get in a big old fight. Okay, so I think, to be honest with you, you should work on, you know, healing your own wounds and not worry about this person. If they want to make fun of somebody who has a mental health issue... Or somebody who is really hurting over somebody that they loved or a friend of theirs. That's a despicable person. And you shouldn't be around those type of people when you're trying to heal anyway. Because it's a very toxic cycle that this person you know, will put you through, okay? You need to heal. Alright? I feel like that's a big thing for you, okay? Um, anyway, we have number five. Number five is going to be Hopscotch, The Glass Bridge, Courage. Will you be able to face your fears in 2022? So, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. So, Four of Cups in reverse, it will come to you naturally, okay? Um, there's hope, great expectations that are to be delivered, New approaches, new friends, new access to knowledge, or your dreams. So, I, I feel like you're really going to be working on yourself, really putting yourself first. And I feel like a lot of people will be seeing that. And actually, you'll gain more friends when you take toxic people that want to constantly put you down or put you in a situation that you're trying to heal from. Okay? You need to get out of that mentality of constantly putting people in your life that may try to, you know, hurt your feelings or hurt 
you know, sentiments of yourself, you know, you can't do that, you can't have people like that, um, in your life. Anyway, number six, we have Squid Game, which is the final one, which is Endurance. So, Endurance for 2022, how will you do at the end of 2022, all right? We have the Two of Swords in Reverse. So the Two of Swords in Reverse is no, but I feel like that's everybody. So don't feel bad. Like, there's a lot of people in front of you that, you know, won't make it to the end either. Um, I feel like the only ones right now that <laughs> that will fight neck and neck to get to the end is probably Aries and Scorpio. So don't feel bad if you're, like, the third one that's going to come through. I feel like you're going to do fine mentally and um, emotionally and, like, financially. So, you know, don't sweat it. Just work on yourself and you will get through 2022, okay? Um, so there's going to be treachery and lies, um, mind out of balance, false friends, and bad business dealings, delinquency, and disloyalty. So there's going to be some friends, some old friends that are going to try to put you down. And I feel like you need to take them out of the equation altogether. If they don't want to be a positive attribute to your lifestyle or your life in general, don't have them in there in the first place. Um, I feel like it's a, it's a better deal, okay? Anyway, we have channeled messages for you. We have devotion, infidelity and love relationships so there's some something here that's not a hundred percent out in the open i feel like somebody has like a child with somebody else and i feel like that's where the infidelity issues may come from you know they have a child together you can't really change that fact but i feel like you might you know kind of have to work your way through that insecurity that they might be doing the wrong thing, okay? And they might be, but, you know, that's not for you to judge that. That's, that's their business. Until it becomes your business, you know? If it, if it's brought into your home, it's your business. If they want to bring it up, that's your business, you know? That's why you don't gossip at the table. Anyway, so stable love, the relationship brings financial abundance. So I feel like there's going to be a relationship that you have that will bring you financial abundance and it might be in a way that you weren't expecting it to it might be actually you making your own advice column to talk to other people <laughs> and have other people weigh in about their experiences and what's going on so then you get kind of a well-rounded um, reaction or a well-rounded point of advice. I feel like the public gives their two cents. And you could be going to see like a therapist. Or you might be going to see a doctor or whatever. About certain issues you may be having. But I feel like the public and Reddit and other you know sites. You're going to get different opinions all the way around the spectrum. And I feel like you're going to get very popular from sharing your experiences and allowing other people to share their experiences. Like a Dear Abby type of column. But I feel like it's, it's going to give you something to look forward to. Like, it doesn't matter if it's really hate comments or it's somebody giving you really good advice. You'll get a well-rounded um, audience. Okay, so... It's, no no comments bad comment you know it's just a matter of if you can put it into use or see that point of view okay just remember you have to be third person person omniscient because some people they get triggered by certain comments or certain stories and certain things in a very different way so just you know, take time to, like, think about it from other people's perspectives. And then you'd be like, oh yeah, that makes total sense, because this, this, and this could have happened, and this, this, and this happened, so, you know. But I feel like, you, you know, a certain things that happen, other people have experienced, or, 
you know, they, they find themselves in a lot of conversations that other people have. I know with some of my friends, there's third parties or their friends that weigh in on some of my experiences and, um, my funnies. <laughs> Sometimes I, I, I do funny things. So some people weigh in on that too. So, you know, it, it depends. It depends what you want to share. Okay. So, but I feel like you might be popular for that reason. Um, having a Dear Abby page or give people really good advice. Okay. Anyway, Capricorn, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. And if you do have a Dear Abby page, I would love to hear about it. Um, <laughs> need a lot of help. But anyway, um, yeah, I feel like you give pretty good advice. But I feel like, you know, with, with giving advice, your life is always going to be in shambles. But if you give nobody advice, you kind of hold the secret to your own success. So it, de it depends on what's going on in your life, okay? So anyway, Capricorn, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully this was a lot of fun for you, as it was for me. And uh, you have a good 2022. I feel like you might have to work, but, you know, what what is life but work, you know? It's a great piece of artwork, a great book to write, stuff like that, you know. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later.